Coming across my desk today is the Hades Clay Pomade from Dominus Pomade, which is a newer brand, only a couple years old, out of Oregon here in the USA. They have a small but interesting lineup that focuses on cleaner, plant-based, and vegan ingredients. Currently, they offer three additional products that I hope to give you a full look at in future episodes, but today we're going to look first at their Hades Clay Pomade. Let's put five minutes on the clock and jump right into it. According to the brand, the Hades Clay Pomade is a water-based clay pomade that offers a high hold and medium shine. It's also got several health-based ingredients inside a vegan formula and also features an oak moss, tobacco, bergamot, pink grapefruit, and atlas cedarwood scent. Price-wise, we're looking at $19 for four ounces of product. Focusing back on that scent real quick, they describe it as being smoky, woody, dry, and semi-sweet. To me, it's one of those scents in a similar arena like to Sheer Revival or another brand like that, but it's a little different with the sweeter notes in there. It's moderately strong, but not offensive. And actually, it's a nice change of pace for this trend of fragrance. Looking inside the jar here now, we've got a nice and interesting looking formula. It's very rigid and rough looking by all appearances, but it's creamy and almost fluffy as soon as you touch it. It comes out of the jar with no effort really at all and goes liquid creamy in the hand. While breaking it down, there's no tack or dryness in there at all. It's just all slick. So styling should be very interesting, which we're going to do now. Let's check that out. I'm going to be rolling with dry hair here so I can get a visual on the clays. And the brand does say that you can actually use this on dry or damp hair and I'm actually using it on dry hair because I really want to see those ingredients come out. I want to see what they do including those clays and as I add the product into my hair here what I see is a bit of a peculiar reaction. It's very slick which I expected but after a few seconds there's a sort of dryness or or dry tack that's coming out here and it's not the same kind of dry tack that we see with like very waxy products. It's a sort of dense feeling. You can both feel it spreading all over while also sticking to the individual hairs. It's it's a little bit hard to explain again, but it's definitely a little different than what I'm used to. The most important thing though is it does seem to be working and I wanted to test it out a little bit, see how versatile I could get the product and the result to be. So I first started with testing the combing, which is super easy. There's nothing stopping the comb at all. It's, it's nice and slow. Like nothing holding it up. There's also a good helping of hold going on there, so it was very easy to produce a cleaned up pomp type style, for example, that's really nice and clean cut. But I also wanted to see how it looks another way, maybe something with a little more texture. And you can see here, if I toss it around, slick it back, and just really let those clays come alive a little bit, we get a totally different look that I think in a lot of ways looks even better. But either way, looking at both styles really shows us that this product can be versatile, which is always a good thing. Let's take a look now at this style eight hours into the day, and I think over Overall, it looks the same, just a bit looser. I mean, it looks like the hold has loosened for sure a little bit. The heat could also have something to do with that. It's very hot here now, but actually overall, I think this is a good result. I mean, this isn't bad. This is eight hours into the day and I can still feel the grip in my hair. And you can see here, I'm still able to comb it down, showing it still has some power left. So I'd say this is a good solid result. Moving over to the washout now, this one needed one shampoo to come out of my hair, which I shampoo every day anyway. So this wasn't a big deal for me. One shampoo, came right out of my hair, not much else to say. There is though a lot to say about my verdict on this clay. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I think this is like Mr. Miyagi level pomade here. If you remember, Mr. Miyagi said life is all about balance and balance is what we have here. We have a great level of slickness. I mean, a very smooth application there to just transport those clays into the hair. That's the pomade talking. And then on the other side to balance things out, we have a slight dry grip, a bit of texture. And what I think is actually closer to a more natural finish, maybe even a matte finish as the day went on, but it also brought about a dry control from the clays to absorb moisture or oils that were present in the hair and keep things, you know, locked in longer. I mean, in my opinion, a real clay pomade, something that's labeled clay pomade should be a balanced conversation between pomade attributes and clay attributes. And friends, let me tell you, this is as real as it gets. I would say too that I think the hold is accurate. I would put it at the higher end of medium, actually. And like I said, I don't think really what I saw was a full medium shine, but that could also be hair type specific. Overall though, I really think this was a well-planned and well-executed formula, and I really can't wait to see more from this brewer and this brand. As always though, the final verdict is up to you, and if you'd like to check out the Hades Clay Pomade, a link will be in the description down below. That's it for today though, thanks so much for checking this out with me. Make sure you do the big three for me, like, comment, in this case, let me know which product you want to see from this brand in a future episode, and as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me, I really appreciate that. And as always, take it easy. I'll see you next time.